coming back from spray. Please do, John. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, no problem. Go, let's, let's go to the Let me, uh, We're gonna just uh so I'll edit this bit as I'm adjusting it and then I'll put it back on. Okay. We've we have still uh Tabby and Colin here. Uh this uh classic chap on camera now, look at this. This is John Steppings. I was told to contact this man because he is enthusiastic on the subject. <laughs> And he was production buyer for Service to Afi Design Pet, uh, involved in Spain and the Derbyshire, or what was called Derbyshire. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, full of stories. Uh, you know, my, my role was to, uh, to uh, seek and supply all the props in front of the camera. Right. And that's right, that's my job. So. I flew out and I landed in, uh, in Malaga and the first thing that I had to do was to find a beer, a, a source for the beer for the program. Yes. So I knew that San Miguel Brewery was in Malaga. So I, I went, I got a taxi from the airport to the brewery, knocked on the door and um, said that what we were doing and would they help us with the San Miguel beer. And they said they would. They would send some beer around the following day to my hotel. <laughs> so I was in my room, the hotel manager came up and said, um, we've got a delivery of beer for you. So I said, well, I was expecting it. He said, but was you expecting a lorry load? So I said, not really. So he said, well, where are you going to put it, um, John? So I said, well, I don't know. So I said, well, you'll have to put it into your room. So what they done, they stacked the beer, the beer crates around my bed to, <laughs> to the height of the ceiling and left the hole. So it I was to the height of the ceiling, was it? Oh, to right. the height of the ceiling. My God, I didn't and know it was they, that high. And um, they um, left a hole there so I could get into the bed. <laughs> so every morning the crew would line up outside my bedroom and a crate of beer was handed to the camera department, the props department, the lighting department, or maybe even two the lighting department. <laughs> and so uh, that's what happened. And at the end of the filming, I still had a hell of a lot of beer left over. So we contacted the local police and asked if they could help. And they sent round the police cars. And there we were, just as we pulled out of Spain, we were handing beer into police cars to get out. So that that that, that was the start of it. <laughs> but I, I think I was saying to you earlier, Tim, about the boat uh, in oh, the last yes. scene. Yes. The last yes. scene of um, the Spanish episode. Uh -huh. I was in the, the pool reading the script with the director. And I read as the book do. as one does, <laughs> as one does. And the last, on the very last page, it said that the boys are chased into the sunset by yeah. a Spanish warship. And I looked at the director and I said, well, are you serious? He said, well, yes, John, that's what you get paid for. So it was my job to go out and get a Spanish warship. Um, so what I'd done was I made my way into every little port going towards Gibraltar. Uh, and luckily I found a Spanish patrol boat and persuaded them to let me go on board and I took all the pictures, all the kind of uh, research pictures I needed. I then came back to Port of Venus and found an ex-patrol boat there, privately owned, and negotiated with the owner. The owner was quite a lad and he said he would do it, providing he could bring his two women friends along to the filming. <laughs> and I knew that would be trouble. So on the day of filming, we, we, we went out... Um, no, before that, we had to convert his boat into a Spanish warship. Yeah. And so we had to go took the boat three miles offshore with the paint crew and repainted it grey put numbers on it, mm. but in doing so, the painter was in a little dinghy and he got so sick that we <laughs> thought he was going to die. And so eventually we ended up with a mock Spanish patrol boat for the filming. 
So we done all the filming, and at the end of it, um, the, the captain was drunk by this time, two of the two <laughs> girls, and I was on board there. So he said, you know, we'd better go home, but he said, I, I don't know what way to go. So I said, well, let's go to Wolster Lights. <laughs> so on our way back to Port of Bermuda, the, the patrol boat hit a sandbank and it bent the propeller shaft of the prop shaft. Mm. And so it started to let water in. And so by the time we got back to Port of Bermuda, it was it, water was coming in, but I got off the boat. The following morning, I went down to the port side, and the boat had sunk. <laughs> <laughs> and so the captain then sued Central Television for for this situation, and we it ended up in a Spanish court where the judge um, didn't go into his favour because he was a captain drunk in charge of ship. Mm -hmm. So we got away. With it.